20 tips for beginners in GTA Online that will make you faster, harder, scooter. First tip, sometimes you need to make a photo, for example during Kyo Perico preparation mission. Or maybe you just want to make a selfie. Be careful, it might be dangerous. But anyway, to do that you usually open your phone and go to camera, but you can do it much faster with just double-clicking button that opens phone. You just need to change one setting. So open phone, go to settings, choose snapmatic and quick launch on. And that's it. Now each time when you're gonna be making a photo, you'll be saving like one second. Not much, but you're gonna feel cool because you're using advanced mechanics now. Next tip will be useful for complete beginners. Let's say you want to change the cars that you're using right now. To do that, just open interaction menu, go to vehicles and choose return personal vehicle to a storage. Then open phone, go to contacts and call your mechanic. And yes, to do that you need to have a garage, but don't worry, pretty much any property has its own garage. But if you don't have it yet, don't worry, you still can use some relatively cool cars for free. So open interaction menu, go to security yourself and register yourself as a VIP. Then in interaction menu again go to secure surf VIP and choose VIP vehicles. And here you go a lot of free and relatively cool vehicles that you can enjoy, but not for long usually. Next tip is about fixing your cars. Sometimes while driving you will hit something or someone and your car will start looking bad. Or which is even worse, your car might become completely undrivable. But don't worry, there is an easy way to fix it. Simply open interaction menu, go to vehicles and choose return personal vehicle to storage. Go back, then immediately choose vehicles again and request personal vehicle. And in a few seconds your car will be delivered back to you and it will be completely fixed. It's like a brand new car, so you can get in and start destroying it again. Many beginners don't know it, but there is no need to go to ammunition store each time when you run out of ammo. You can refill it at any time. So again, open interaction menu, go to inventory and just choose ammo. And here you can order any ammo type that you need. Another useful tip for combat situation is how to heal yourself immediately. In GTA Online you heal yourself by eating snacks, but there is an animation that you definitely want to skip, especially if you are in the middle of a fight. There are multiple ways to do it. First of all, there will be no animation if you eat in snacks while taking cover, or let's say driving a vehicle. If you're playing with mouse and a keyboard, you can instantly eat snacks while running, and if you have a controller, you can eat snacks while aiming. So just aim when you have interaction menu open and just walk around, kill everyone and heal yourself immediately. I call it slow and steady because you cannot run but you are super hard to kill. And one more thing, in next gen version of GTA 5 you always heal yourself immediately if you were in a mask. By the way, next tip, don't buy snacks. You can get them for free if you have pretty much any sort of a property. There are free snacks in your kasatka, in auto shop, in the office and there are even two places where you can get free snacks in your agency. So just remember to refill your snacks before each mission. And by the way, there is also a take all option. And as a small but useful combat tip for beginners, take cover in intense fights. This way you can not only fast heal yourself, but also shoot while staying in safety. Just press fire button without pressing aim button. By the way, you can move around the object that you are hiding behind. To do that, just choose a direction and press X on Xbox and square on PlayStation. It might be useful in some situations, but also it looks funny. Next tip will save you a few seconds when you will need to steal a locked car. Instead of breaking a window and unlocking the door, you can simply shoot in the window and just open the car. Oh, by the way, if you don't want other players to take your cars and you know just drive away in them, you have to change one setting. Again, open interaction menu, choose vehicles and go to vehicle access. Here you can choose who will be able to use your car crew, friends, uh, no one, in case if you don't trust your friends and crew. There is another important change in settings that you definitely want to do from the very beginning. It will help you to hit something or someone while driving less frequently. Anyway, open menu, go to settings and choose camera. Here change vehicle camera height from low to high. And that's it, now driving process will be more comfortable. And now it's time to answer one of the most common beginners questions in GTA Online. What to do if more 
mod is not calling, how to fix it. I remind you that mod is a bounty hunter who gives you pretty easy missions and by completing them all you can make a lot of money, especially for beginners. More details in my guide on how to make money in GTA Online, link in the description. But anyway, sometimes mod is just not calling. It's a bug and it usually happens when you are a VIP or CEO if you have office or part of someone's organization. Just open interaction menu, choose secure or serve VIP or CEO and retire. In most cases it will fix the problem and after some time mod will call you. One more tip about making money. Remember that each week there are some activities with double or even triple payouts. Such activities are changing every Thursday and you can check them on official Rockstar's website. Or you can just join activities with extra payout immediately. To do that just open your phone and go to quick join. Go to serious modes and choose featured series. And soon you will find a lobby for a mode with extra payouts. But be careful, some game modes are not worth it even with double payout. Next few tips will help you to get ready for updates in GTA Online. First of all, there are usually a lot of new expensive things, so you gonna need money. And if you are not in the mood for grinding Cayo Perico again, remember that you can sell your old cars. I mean, if you've been playing in GTA Online for some time, you probably have a lot of cars that you're not using anymore, so just go to Los Santos Customs and sell them, earn some extra money. But there is one thing, you cannot get any money for cars that you received for free, for example as part of some promotion or that you won in casino. Also there is a way to test new vehicles before spending money on them. Just open menu, go to online and choose Rockstar Creator. Then create a deathmatch and the most importantly in deathmatch details choose lock weapons to forced only and forced weapon to unarmed. So NPCs will not bother you. Anyway then set all the parameters required and in placement find vehicles. Here you can choose all the vehicles and place them on the map. When everything is done don't forget to save it because once there will be new update you will just go back and change the vehicles and then choose test. And here you go you can try all the vehicles that you want before spending money on them. Speaking about spending money, at some point you will probably decide to buy neon lights for your car. But they are kinda hard to turn off if you don't want to use them all the time. So what you need to do is get off your car, in interaction menu go to vehicles and choose vehicle remote functions. Turn on engine, then find neon lights, turn them on and then turn them off. And now when you will get in your car again, neon lights will be turned off. Yeah, it's complicated. Next tip is completely useless to be honest, but fun. With muscle car like Duke of Death for example, press at the same time acceleration button and hand brake. Keep it for a few seconds and then release hand brake. And you can do some useless but fun stuff like this. Oh no, step car, I'm stuck, help me. Okay, sometimes mounts and heels are too hard to climb and you are gonna be just falling off all the time. And here is a little trick, to climb them you just need to aim your weapon. Also use this trick when you're going down the mountain or you might just fall and die. Next tip, when you need to go back to the city fast, use fast travel option to save some time. So just open menu, go to online, choose options and go to sport location. If you already bought some property like auto shop or agency it's gonna be easier, if not just choose a less car meet. You can also change spawn location in interaction menu but here it's easier in my opinion. Anyway then just choose find new session and switch lobby. And now the last and the most important tip for beginners in my opinion. Remember GTA Online is just a game, so have fun. It's so easy to go too much into grind in GTA Online. And some activities are definitely way more profitable than others. But are they also enjoyable for you? That's a really important question that you need to ask yourself constantly. And maybe it's better to spend your time on something that pays much less but feels like a fun game, not like a boring job. Actually, some activities might be profitable and fun at the same time. For example, Cayo Perico. It's fun at least like first 10 times when you're completing it. And now on your screen you see my step-by-step -step guide for this heist. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. Goodbye.